Hello to everyone! We start our trip by the famous places of Vilnius. If you come here and don't know what to visit, this video for you. 10 kilometers of road and a lot of emotions. You can find all details of the road in the video description. Let's start. We start our route on rail station. Rail station now is okay. If you go by plane, you can easily reach rail station by direct bus or train from the airport. From rail station we go to Kalurukle restaurant. This is the wall with the old time famous dictators. Tourists love this place and you can make an interesting selfie with Trump or Lukashenko. Now we go to the Halis Turgus. This is the oldest market in Vilnius built in 1906. You can buy very delicious chakotis here. Now we are going to Ostrobramas or Auschwitz Gates, one of the most important sites of Vilnius and objects of secular tourism and religious pilgrimage. It's the only one left gate of the city wall and the chapel with the miracles image of Mother of God of Srebramska. From Ostrobrama we go along the old wall to the Bastion. The Bastion was built at the beginning of the 17th century and was the part of the defensive city wall that surrounded the city from enemies. The wall was built in 1522. Its fragment you can find not far from the Bastion, in the place where was the one of the nine city gates. From the Bastion we go to the town hall square. Previously here was located the main city square, so here it was decided to build a town hall. A magistrate settled in the building, as well as courtrooms, a treasury, a storehouse, a weapons and ammunition, In the basement was a prison. Today the town hall hosts concerts, literary evenings, book presentations, exhibitions and festivals. From town hall square we go in the ghetto district, go through it and get into Pile Street, one of the oldest streets in the city. It begins from the cathedral square. The street connected the palace of the Grand Dukes with the town hall. Today Pile Street is the favorite place for walking of citizens and guests of the capital, concentrating a huge number of shops, galleries and cafes. Now we go to the office of the president. On the way we visit house of signatories. In this house was signed the Act of Independence of Lithuania. In this place chapel of the temple. This is the highest building in the old town. In this place is the Arkad courtyard, ideal place for dates. Then we go to the Vilnius University, the oldest and the biggest university in Lithuania. Finally, we went to the office of the president of Lithuania. The president of Lithuania works here. His office is located. Protocol meetings of the heads of state are held. This is the first stone building after the second christening. Russian Tsar Alexander I, King of France Louis XVIII, and Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte were here. The flag waving over the palace is lowered when the president leaves Vilnius. Three state tricolor flags are waving in front of the palace, two of which can be replaced with the national flags of the arriving guests. Every Sunday at 12 o'clock you can see the flag changing ceremony. We go to the Cathedral Square and the Palace of Grand Dukes. The Cathedral Square is the main place of urban public life. Here fairs and folks, festivals, military parades, concerts, religious ceremonies, social and political events. The square belongs to the most lively place of the city, one of the main tourist attractions, the most famous and important symbols of Lithuania. On the Cathedral Square people meet the new year and put the most beautiful Christmas trees in Europe. Right next to the Cathedral Square is the Palace of Grand Dukes, from where the great Lithuanian dukes ruled the country. Now there is a museum inside. The National Museum of Lithuania is also nearby. And of course the Castle Hill and the most famous place in Vilnius, Gediminas Tower, which offers the best view of the capital. There is also a museum inside the tower. From the Cathedral Square we go into the main street of the capital, Gediminas Avenue. Here are shopping centers, shops, cafes and restaurants, the National Drama Theatre, Money Museum, the State Small Theatre, 
Museum of Genocide Victims that did not leave anyone indifferent, the National Library, the main square of the country Lukishki Square, and at the end of the Kineminos Avenue, the Seimos of the Republic of Lithuania. Not far from the same there is Lukishki's prison for especially dangerous criminals. It was built in 1901 during Tsarism Russia for the imprisonment of political opponents. On the 1st of January, prison is closed. Along the avenue of Gideminas, we return to the Cathedral Square and from here we are going to the Bernardin Park. The park has restored the authentic atmosphere of the 19th century. Here you can walk along the banks of the Vilnius River, admire the recreated four fountains, one of which is musical. A rose garden has also been planted here, playgrounds have been set up and the oldest oak in Vilnius, which is about 400 years old, it's growing near the entrance to the park. From Bernardinsky Park we go to the Uzhepitz district. It is considered a district of artists, often compared to the district of Montmartre in Paris. In 1997 the residents of the quarter proclaimed the Republic of Uzhepitz with their own flag, president, constitution and even an army of 12 people. If you still have the strength you can return and take a walk along the streets of the old city, for example see the narrowest street of the capital or go for a walk in a large ghetto quarter. That was a busy day in Vilnius. Write in the comments what place you would add to the list and do not forget to like this video. Have a nice trip!